season obviously finished a few weeks ago. You have a few weeks off. I know you're elite athletes, so you look after yourselves. But how long does it take to get back up to speed? Well, um, I to be honest with you, I finished up on the 5th of June. It was my last game. So I've had a pretty quick turnover. Um, after the season finished, I think everyone was on quite a high, uh, being successful and getting promotion. Um, so for myself, I just needed a few days just to kind of come back down and settle uh, before I got going again. So I returned to Ireland on the Thursday and I started back my train and then on the Friday. So I took about four days to myself um, before I was getting ready to go again, um, because obviously we had home based training that we were getting ready for. So obviously we wanted to be going into that as fresh as possible. Yeah, and just on, on that season, how much of a boost is that coming into the camp? Because obviously everyone within the camp has had their own experiences. Some players have had good seasons, some not so good. Is it almost parked as soon as you come in? I don't think so, to be honest with you. Um, I think for me personally anyway, I think from my last game, I can continue from that. So I feel like in the it, especially in this year, coming back into playing games with the team after my injury that I was just like looking to build a rhythm and confidence and I think as the games progressed and training progressed um I got that and I got a good feeling for it um I suppose being a defender and scoring a few goals was actually kind of pretty nice and I kind of took a lot of pressure off myself and just looked to just to play my game as simple as possible and to do what I needed for the team and I think I'm going to bring that into this camp um, just like I finished up in the last camp, it was all about getting back in, building a rhythm and, you know, gaining con confidence. So for me, I'm definitely just going to look to progress on that and to continue it. Um, and then obviously integrate with the, with the team as well. So we can try and create that atmosphere of playing together again, because obviously it's been a couple of months. Just last one for me on system. Obviously, Beer has used three at the back. We see Stephen Kenny doing it. It's very common now in the modern game what do you think of it yourself how do you how do you find it and how to adapt between different systems how easy is that or how difficult is that? well obviously a club you know depending on your own system I'm fortunate enough that over in in Germany I was playing with a three back as well so I've had the experience of playing in it um also with the Irish team so I'm a fan of it um and then obviously being able to adapt is just about knowing the game and, and your roles. And I think it's important to be able to have that switch and have it in the locker to be able to adapt to, to when it's needed um, in a game. So it's thumbs up for me anyway. Even just within the, the three, we, we saw it the other night with the Ireland team, Nathan Collins was moved into the centre after playing on the right of the three in previous games. Is there that much of a difference, do you think, in terms of so as if you're one of the the outside of the three, you could get dragged into wider or into open spaces rather than if you're in the centre. Yeah, well, I think that's that's only natural that it does happen. Like um, I've played in the central position and on either side of the central position, um, and you know when it's needed, you have to kind of come into that fullback role as well. So you know being adaptable and and knowing the role of the position as well, I think is very important. Um, but I think everyone has. A very good understanding of it and it's just reiterating it in training and working on it and you know the communication is is key when the speed of play is so quick and there's lots of changes happening you know that you know you're able to identify when and where to go uh, or else you just need to hold you know long balls dropping off it's just it's just I think it's it's important to be able to to adapt but I think it's um it's something that everyone here is able to do and I think we've seen that in the last couple of campaigns with the change of personnel Okay, thanks very much Claire, best of luck No problem, thank you All right, Clark. Hey Claire, um, you were come into the Ireland squad for the last the last qualifier a bit late especially you talked about the injury and stuff like that getting fit, talk to us a little bit about you know, leaving Sweden with such a big result, it was massive momentum it was it was it was something that was needed to to kickstart, especially when you look at Finland dropping points as well. The previous previous days, yeah, I think you touched on it there. The momentum, I think, going into the camp, um, everyone knew the challenge ahead. 
um, but it was something that everyone was well up for. And we worked very hard in training to prepare for that game. And I think it showed in itself how hard everyone did work throughout the week preparing for it because everyone stuck to the game plan and we we were there for each other. Um, the players on the pitch, the players watching from the sideline, the players from the in the stands, you know, we were there collectively together doing a job. And I think at the end of it, everyone was, it's very difficult to put into words how everyone felt with that point away. Um, because obviously Sweden are, are such a big team and, you know, world class number two in the world. So it gave a lot of encouragement going forward for the team um, and hopefully promise as well, you know, coming into the next camp, well, coming into this camp uh, for Georgia away as well. So it was massive and everyone worked so, so hard and everyone was rewarded by the end of it. In terms of this game, everybody talks about their record win in Tallis Stadium, but is it just about making sure it's one hurdle ticked off? We can't really look back and reflect on what's happened because there's different circumstances around players not having trained, played in a while and things like that. Is it just about getting over this hurdle before we look at the horizon and what's, what's, what could potentially come down the line in September? Yeah, well, as you said, we're just kind of focused on this game now and that's the Georgia game and, and getting the result and that's going to be the win. Um, obviously, there's many factors to play a part, but the main focus will be on preparing for that game. And of course, three points is always the goal and getting the job done however means possible. In terms of yourself, talk to us a little bit about, you know, having to watch on from the sideline for a while with the, with the injury. You haven't really had many major injuries over, over your career that's kept you out for long, long periods of time. Talk to us about that and you seeing what was going on with, within the camp and even in Germany that you were missing out on. Was it hard? How was the recovery and how did it feel to be back? Yeah, the, the injury itself, it was very difficult um, and, you know, how it, how it went. But I think it was a massive learning curve for me as a, a player and as a person. Um, I think I learned an awful lot um, just from watching in. But I, I've taken those experiences and I think, you know, as a person, when we're faced with a challenge, you know, it, it all depends on how you take it. If, if you look at it negatively or, or if you use it in a positive light. And I think I use it in a positive way to learn as much as possible. And I've gotten really amazing feedback since um, just about coming back as a player um, my knowledge and, and my fitness levels some people think that I've enhanced and if that's the case then so be it I'm delighted with that um, coming back into the squad obviously was a big one and and it being against Sweden obviously a big team to, to come back against but you know just being back in with the team I like I said previously getting my rhythm and confidence again was the most important thing. And I think from the start to the end of the camp, it was like night and day. Um, and I'm just looking to build on that again, coming into this camp. And we have two fixtures ahead of us and we've already started preparations to prepare for those. So I'm just looking to build on it and seeing how far I can progress in this camp. Last one for me. Scoring some goals as well this year, bringing you back to your, your Wexford youth days where you were, you know, getting a little bit further forward. That must have been nice. Yeah, well, it's it's crazy because they were all from set pieces. But um, even just touching on like when I'm just finding that rhythm and confidence again, it was it started to like open the gates when I just took all the pressure off myself and, and I just played the game and I went up. And obviously we identified that I was an aerial tread on set pieces. So we tried to orchestrate a few of them around me so and thankfully they paid off and some other girls scored some some goals from it as well so happy days scoring goals that's what you want isn't it I suppose as a defender you want to defend them as well brilliant clear thanks no problem uh, guys I was just going to say if, rather than going through everybody individually if because some people may not want to ask questions do you want to put up your hand if anybody else wants to ask a question and we can go that way we we'll speed it up a bit Is there a hand on this? Yeah, there should be. Is there? Or anybody wants to shout there? Oh. Yeah, Dave. How's it going? Dave's. Is there, it's only only one, but is there a risk of falling into a false sense of security going into this game, just considering how the home game went against them? Sorry, can you repeat the question? 
Oh, sorry. sorry, yeah, is there is there a risk of falling into maybe a bit of a false sense of security given how the force game went against them? Yeah, um, I don't think so, to be honest with you, because I think everyone is very level-headed and we have our feet on the ground and, and we know the task in hand. Yeah. Obviously, we know what happened in the last game and how successful the team were in scoring goals, but, you know, we're away from home in this camp, so we need to take that into consideration and just focus on ourselves and doing the best that we can, securing the win, all going well. And obviously some goals will be nice to top it off with. And just the last one for me, like Katie, Katie McKay has kind of spoken previously just about kind of trying to drive different demands around the camp and expectations and what's kind of required. Is that something that you're beginning to see kind of filter through in terms of the mentality around the squad? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think everyone is stepping up to the plate um, and stepping up to the challenges when asked of them. I think we see that in Chloe Mustaki uh, in the last camp, um, the role that she played and she did it marvellously and it's a credit to her. And that's all about individually as players um, looking to better ourselves every day in training and with each game. And I think it's how we go into those challenges and we take them in a positive light and be able to learn learn from them because that's the game that's ahead of us is all about learning and improving individually so collectively when we come back together that you know we can be united and we can be successful in the goal that's ahead of us